guys, welcome back to Phantom Weather Channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about that major winter storm that is expected, or major snowstorm uh, that is expected for portions of the interior northeast. And we're expecting this to be a nor'easter that is expected to move on to Long Island, then eventually through New Hampshire, before moving off the coast of Maine. And it's going to cause some pretty major snowstorm impacts, uh, pretty major snowstorm accumulations to portions of the interior northeast in New England. Uh, so we'll be going over all of that in today's video. I'll show you guys the ECMWF simulated model runs so that you guys can see what this storm system is going to look like. Also, what times you can get impacted in your area. Then I'll also show you guys some different total accumulated snowfall maps, followed by the excessive rainfall outlook, and then ultimately my snowfall forecast so that you guys can see what I think as far as the total accumulated snowfall goes uh, for these particular areas. Uh, so let's get right into it. Let's take a look at the current National Weather Service hazards here. Um, this We're going to see some areas here where we are seeing winter storm warnings uh, in these pink regions here in New York. This is where we're going to have these active winter storm warnings in effect. Just to the east here is where we're going to see our electric blue shades. This is where we have winter storm watches are in effect. We see another area there in southern Vermont and then also northern Maine. We still have active winter storm watches in effect. Uh, that will likely become warnings based on what this is looking like so far. These other purple regions around it, though, are going to be winter weather advisories, so not as severe impacts. However, we are going to watch all these systems closely regardless. Um, so we're going to start this off by taking it to Saturday or 116 at 0Z here. So we're going to see our system start to file up, or fire up. Our nor'easter is still going to be off the screen, but we're going to see some rain making its way into the northeast here, accompanied by some mix and then also some uh, snow that's going to be mixing into the west of this as well. And this is going to be by Saturday at 6Z here. Um, this is where we're going to see a lot of our snow start to fire up. We're going to see some pretty heavy snow that are going on in eastern New York, western Massachusetts, maybe some of southern Vermont at this time. And then also the heaviest in the bulk of our snow here is actually going to be in northern New York, this model saying. Again, this is the ECMWF model. Um, this is where we're actually going to see some areas that can see some very heavy snow that are possible in northern New York. I don't have a mouse. You guys, guys probably can't see it on the screen there, but... It uh, definitely looks like we can see some heavy snow. And then we also will see this accompanied by some mix, and then also some rain that is possible, uh, most of the rain being light. This is going to be by 12Z on Saturday. This is when things are really going to start to get ugly, especially for Vermont and New Hampshire. So a lot of eastern New York, almost all of Vermont and almost all of New Hampshire, especially the southern portions of those two, then also western Massachusetts are going to be getting in on some very heavy snow. But it's going to be very, very heavy snow for portions of southern and central Vermont and also some of southwestern uh, New Hampshire here. Uh, we're going to see some areas that it looks like this could be maybe around 0.4, maybe a little bit less inch. I, this might be per hour. Um, so this is the case. That is some very heavy snow. Um, you can see the difference there between that mix line and the uh, heavy snow line here. We're also going to see an area of mix that is possible uh, for portions of New Hampshire, western Massachusetts, and then some lingering areas in New York uh, to the south. We're going to see our rain, some of which could be moderate, maybe even heavy in some of Connecticut and southern Massachusetts and Rhode Island at this time, with a 996 millibar low pressure system visible over southern Long Island. And this is going to be by Saturday at 18 Z here. This is where we're going to see actually a lot of gusty winds work their way into the system and even heavier and even more widespread snow there going on in some of northeastern New Hampshire and uh, western uh, Maine here. I'm covered in again by some of that uh, heavy, heavy rain, maybe an isolated area of heavy freezing rain. Then another area there of mix, and then again, it's all snow to the north of this. Associated with a 991 millibar Lepartia system, visible over southwestern uh, New Hampshire at this time. And just to the northeast, we're going to see some very heavy rain, or heavy, uh, or sorry, gusty winds working into the system, right where the bulk of our heavy snow is here. So this is going to likely be dangerous if this is correct here. Uh, be on the lookout for some blowing snow. With this snow being as heavy as it is, these gusty winds are not going to be our friend. Uh, so if this model is correct, we're definitely going to be wa want to be on the lookout for blowing snow here. This is going to be by Sunday at 0Z here. Uh, so we're going to see our 985 millibar low pressure system uh, off of the coast of Maine here. Again, this track is for the European model, including my thumbnail. Uh, most of our accumulations here are going to be for northern Maine at this time. With a thin line separating the uh, the snow and the rain, mainly it's going to be mixed, maybe some freezing rain in that line. And then to the south is where we're going to see our rain. So again, coastal Maine, as usual, you're going to be missing out on this uh, on the snow side of this nor'easter here. Uh, but almost all of the interior northeast is going to get hit very hard, it looks like. Um, and then this is going to be by Sunday at 60 here. 
This one, we're going to see a 983 millibar departure system visible uh, over southern Maine at this time. So it could have worked actually back into the system. But again, mainly we're seeing some light snow accumulations, maybe some moderate snow accumulations laying around, uh, maybe west of Buffalo, or maybe uh, west of, uh, uh, I, I forget what city that is, but... Uh, we're going to see some of that in north central New York at this time. We can see that. And then again, most of this year is going to be some light snow, maybe even some uh, light mix slash light rain that's mixing into this as well. So maybe by Sunday at 12Z here, we're going to see our 981 millibar low pressure system visible over northern Maine at this time. Uh, that snow in north central New York getting even heavier. This is actually where I think we can see the most snow. Again, another area in northern Maine can see some fairly, uh, maybe some moderate snow. And then otherwise, we're just going to see some light precipitation of different uh, variations. I'll see by 18Z again. It's still going to be pretty light. Most of it's going to be for northern Maine. Uh, but then let's talk snowfall totals. These are going to be the total accumulated snowfall maps. This is going to be by Monday or 118 20, 2021 by 0Z. So this is going to be through Sunday, it looks like. So this is going to be uh, by Monday here. This is a 10 to 1 ratio. So I believe this means that uh, it's a, sl a snow to liquid ratio of 10 to 1 every time. Uh, so we got to also factor in the uh, the uh, temperatures and all that. So this might not be the snowfall on the ground, but up until Monday at 0Z. Uh, this is the snow that's expected to accumulate from a 10 to 1 ratio here. Um, again, this is going to be our ECMWF high resolution model. So if that model that was correct that I just showed you guys, um, we're going to see some areas that could actually see uh, 18 to, 16 to 18 inches of snow here. Uh, that is possible. Maybe even 18 to 20 inches of snow here. And portions of north central New Hampshire. Also some pretty heavy snow there going on in upstate western Maine. And then also some of north central New York here. Uh, we're going to see some areas that can see some very heavy snow accumulations of over a foot uh, with the heaviest snow accumulations that could possibly get to 20 inches here for some of north central uh, New Hampshire here, which is definitely evident on the model run that I just showed you guys here. Otherwise, there's some, still some pretty heavy snow accumulations going on elsewhere in all those pink regions. And then those uh, blues there are mainly going to indicate light to maybe some locally uh, light to moderate snow. And then those, uh, those white areas there are going to mainly indicate moderate snow. Also, uh, definitely showing major snowstorm impacts. This is going to be our GFS model by the same time frame, same 10 to 1 liquid ratio as they all are. Um, we're going to see some areas, again, in, in upstate New York here that could see some very heavy snow accumulations. Uh, maybe let me estimate this really quick. So it looks like it's going to be uh, maybe up to 20 inches of snow here that are possible in upstate New York. We're still seeing some uh, multiple areas here or multiple pockets that could also see over a foot of snow uh, being 12 to 18, maybe even up to 20 inches of snow here that are possible uh, in these regions, maybe even more than 20 inches in that area in upstate New York here. Um, no, no, again, those areas in uh, northern New Hampshire and also upstate western Maine could also be seeing some very heavy snow accumulations off of this storm as well. Um, and then this is going to be our GFS V16 model here. Uh, this one's showing a little bit more widespread areas in those upstate New York regions that are seeing some snow accumulations over 12 inches here. But still an area in southern Vermont here could also see some very heavy snow accumulations. Uh, very isolated, not, not necessarily isolated, but not as much as we were seeing in the last uh, couple ones in some of northern uh, New Hampshire here, north central New Hampshire. We still could see some areas in that region that could see 12 to 14 inches of snow, though. And then also some of, uh, again, upstate western Maine, maybe central or north central Maine here could also be seeing quite a bit of snow. Uh, upstate New York looks to be the biggest amount on this um, model here. Uh, this is going to be our GDPS model here. Uh, we are seeing some areas in New York that could possibly see 16 to 18 inches of snow. Again, in the same area that we've seen the other ones. Uh, so you guys will see in my snowfall forecast what I think of that. Um, we're going to see some areas in northwest central New Hampshire that can also see similar snowfall totals, maybe even a little bit higher. And then again, some also some areas in western uh, Maine here that can also see 12 to 16 inches of snow. Um, so it's definitely going to be some pretty heavy snow accumulations, this model is saying as well. They really all are. All of the models that I've looked at are indicating uh, snow, snow accumulations over 10 inches. Well, really even all of them over 12 inches, it looks like. So uh, it's definitely going to be a heavy snowstorm for these areas here. And then finally, before we get into my uh, predictions here, this is going to be our UK map model. We're going to see some areas. This actually could be our highest snowfall totals here. We're going to see some areas that could maybe, it looks like, see up to 24 inches of snow that are possible possible here, or maybe a little bit less, but potentially up to 24 inches here in some of northwest central uh, New Hampshire, which again looks like a definitely a big question mark. Again, northern uh, upstate western Maine here, or sorry, upstate uh, 
upstate western Maine here. Also seeing some very heavy snow accumulations. Not as much for those areas in uh, upstate New York here, but definitely a southern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and uh, northwestern or northern upstate uh, western Maine here could definitely be seeing some heavy snow accumulations and maybe even 12 to 24 inches here. Um, and then, sorry, I forgot to leave one thing out. This is going to be our excessive rainfall outlook for tomorrow. So we do have a marginal risk or a 5 to 10% chance of seeing excessive rainfall exceeding flash flood guidance within 25 miles of any one point. So for some of southwest central New Hampshire and also some of southern coastal uh, Maine here, we're going to see some areas that have a chance at least of seeing some heavy rainfall exceeding flash flood guidance. You saw in the European model that I just showed you guys, uh, ECMWF, we saw some heavy snow or heavy rain uh, for these areas here. So be on the lookout for flash flooding, even though it is a marginal risk here. Uh, we still have to watch it, of course, as always. This is going to be my snowfall. Uh, this is going to be my snowfall forecast here. This is where I think that we can see up to an inch to three inches here. So if you are in these uh, shaded areas here, and again, everything is really contained inside the border. So if you're on the border, you're uh, most likely not going to see these accumulations. Uh, but it just depends. It can be halfway through. Um, so this is where I think that we can see at least a dusting of snow on the ground, but some visible snow or some visible light snow accumulation is possible in these areas. Uh, so where I think that we can see three to six inches of snow, so maybe some moderate to locally heavy accumulation there, uh, going on for some of upstate New York, northwest Pennsylvania, um, and also some of northern Connecticut, and also some of western uh, Massachusetts, all of Vermont, most of New Hampshire, and also some of upstate Maine. Could be looking at three to six inches. Again, some of these areas may not be exact. There could be some pockets that could be seeing less than some of these areas. Um, this is where I think that we can see six to nine inches of snow, so definitely some heavier snow accumulation going on for these shaded areas here. Again, mainly contained in the borders. For some of upstate New York, again, really all of Vermont, some of northwest Massachusetts, uh, some of western and northern New Hampshire, and then also some of upstate uh, Maine, or most of upstate Maine, I should say. Again, we'll be looking at some pretty uh, heavy snow accumulations if you are in these areas here. This is our 9 to 12 inch region here, so we could see up to a foot of accumulation in these areas here. You might notice that there's a border that kind of separates the second half here. And then we're also seeing an area where there's no shaded area. Um, it looks like in some of northern uh, New Hampshire, in, or it's kind of hard to tell whether it has New Hampshire um, or Vermont, but either way. Um, this is an area that I think we're only going to see a few inches of snowfall here. I feel like a lot of this is going to be either higher elevation or lake effect enhanced. And we are seeing those areas that are not shaded um, in, in the borders also that could only be looking at a few inches of snowfall here. So if you are in those areas, I would not get my hopes up on uh, 9 to 12 inches here. Uh, but these other red areas here, it looks pretty promising that these areas will see it here. Again, some locally higher amounts possible than others. So I think that we can see 12 to 15 inches of snow. So if you are in these regions, you're looking at a good chance of seeing over a foot of snow. We're seeing this for some of central and southern Vermont, uh, really all of it. Also some of northwestern Massachusetts, upstate New York, uh, north, northern uh, New Hampshire here, and also some of uh, western uh, Maine here, especially uh, upstate western Maine here, could be looking at 12 to 15 inches of snow. It's so farther than we can see 15 to 18 inches of snow. Uh, some isolated pockets here, maybe in upstate central New York. Uh, southern Vermont, and then also some of northern New Hampshire, potentially looking at some of far uh, west central Maine here is where I think that we can see 15 to 18 inches of snowfall. And then finally, this is where I think that we can see 18 plus inches of snowfall, with of course locally higher amounts possible as usual. Um, so this yellow area here contained in the borders for the most part is where I think that we can see uh, 18 or more inches of snowfall here. Again, we saw some uh, of those models that were showing more than that. Um, but based on all the models together, I think that this is the um, area of most confidence that we can see 18 plus inches of snowfall here. Uh, it's not for sure, but it is possible that we could definitely see that. And again, we're also going to have to watch out for higher elevation uh, and lake effect enhanced snowfall as well. Um, that's what I want to discuss with you guys in this video. If you like this video and you want to see more updates like this, make sure that you do click that subscribe button. Um, and also that make sure that if you do subscribe, that you turn those notification that turn turn that notification bell on, uh, so that you guys will not miss an upload when I upload for you guys. Um, and then also if you want other people to see this video, make sure that you're dropping a like on the video as always. And then you're also sharing this video out if you want to get other people to see it as well. Um, but until the next video, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video, Phantom Squad.